welcome to Coispiracy Theories, episode five. In this Coispiracy Theories, we focus on Leicester City, AKA the Foxes. Now, for those of you who don't know, foxes are an Illuminati animal. It is confirmed. They are used in sacrifices, along with goats, snakes, and whales. Yes, I said it, whales, but foxes, in particular, are hunted. Why do you think they're hunted? For sacrifices. But that is not the purpose of this conspiracy theory. On the 16th of May, 2015, Leicester confirmed their Premier League status in a goalless draw against Sunderland. The one word that described it, euphoria. But there was something else going on behind the scenes that you did not know. Sacrifices. Do your research. In order for something to become successful, a sacrifice must take place. On the 30th of June, just over a month later in 2015, manager Nigel Pearson was sacked following his son's racist sex tape. Now, the board like to believe that the relationship broke down between them and Pearson but we know it was to do with that sex tape that took place in Thailand. Now, if you know Thailand, then you know that they have links to Germany. Don't ask me how, just do your research. And Germany also have links to the Illuminati. Now, I'm not saying everyone in Germany have links to the Illuminati, but if you know, then you know. And if you didn't know, then you would know that I know because I do this on a regular basis, even though I haven't done it for six months because I've been on a top secret mission trying to expose members of the Illuminati. But that's a whole different story. Leicester City go from zeros to heroes in the matter of 10 months. Summit of the Premier League, 73 points, 73, 7 plus 3. What number is that? 10. 10 is an Illuminati number. If you do the maths, you could work this out. Jamie Vardy, non-league four years ago. Mares, dog crap last year. Kante, lower league in French football. Wes Morgan, captain of Jamaica. We know he plays with substances, allegedly. Do the math. How did they become heroes? How did they become invincible? How did they do this? It wasn't Lucas Aid. Think about it. It wasn't Lucas Aid. Now, if you know like I know, then you would know that something else took place. A certain something that tennis players like, or a tennis player in particular, but I'm not alluding to anything. This is just Illuminati confirmed. Leicester, are they winning? Are they losing? Are they living? Are they dub dying? Who knows? I do. That's why I do this. And for those of you that have been saying, I am not Mitch. Mitch, Mitch is not this good looking, even though he's gorgeous. Mitch. Mitch does not have this hair, even though it's gorgeous. Let me know in the comments below if you think the Leicester is a worthy conspiracy and check out my previous ones. Once again, this is not this Mitch. Is not Mitch. So what it's going to be is best of three who can juggle the football more in each one. First of two wins. Smithy, you go first, mate. Good luck, mate. 